At the end of this presentation, every student will be able to articulate the reason for using postpartum family planning. Also, he or she will be able to discuss the benefits of postpartum family planning. Also, to recognize the appropriate time for of PPIUCD insertion. To identify the women who are not eligible for this method. Also, to recognize element of counseling about PPIUCD. And at the end, every student will be able to perform the techniques of PPIUCD insertion. There are some abbreviations which will be used during this presentation. The first one is PPIUCD means postpartum intrauterine contraceptive device and the PPFP is postpartum family planning. Those are the abbreviations. Why is, do we have needs, do we have reasons and the benefits of using postpartum family planning? This will prevent unattended in the all closely spaced pregnancy, as you know. And this, the benefits also is that it is highly and immediate effective. This method is highly and immediate effective. This method is the long term reversible protection up to 12 years. This method also is convenient and safe means that no increase the risk of perforation or bleeding. This method is benefit because it has immediate return of fertility when it is removed and also ensures health mother and babies, means that the mother and the baby are health and this method don't have any effect on the quantity or quality of breast milk. The cost is effective and this prevents miss opportunity with the client, meaning that it is the good time to give the method to the client, no need to go home and come back. This is an appropriate opportunity to give the method to the client. Which type of IUCD is needed? We need to use copper, copper IUCD is uh, commonly used after birth because it is, it is not having any hormone and this will can stay in place up to 4 to 12 years. And the image is there, that is the form of that copper IUCD. When do you need to insert the method? This one is special because it is inserted directly after birth within 10 minutes of delivery or post placenta or plus manual removal of placenta when you are doing a cesarean section. And this also is inserted in the early postpartum period means before 48 hours after birth. Limitation of intrauterine contraceptive device. This one is not protecting against HIV or other STIs. This also requires a trained provider. It is not anyone who is, not, who is going to give the method. We need a trained personnel. This also requires appropriate infection prevention, means to you, we need to use the sterile materials. This also is not good for a mother who is at high risk of sexual transmitted infections. Those are the limitations of this method. We may find also some side effects as the other Family planning method has effects. This one also may have some side effects. The one is the change in breeding partner. 
The client may experience menorrhagia, menor uh, dysmenorrhea, or spotting, or the client may complain of cramps or discomfort, but this may be uh, in the first three first month of insertion, but this may disappear during or after uh, some months. After three months, those uh, signs of cramps of breathing may disappear. What are the complications? The mother may experience some complications of uh, this method. The first one may be uterine perforation. And the second may be the infection. The infection may, uh, may come to the client which, who is using this method. Another complication is expiration. Expiration of the, uh, the device. But in the postpartum, immediate postpartum, here we have, uh, we, ha we are fear of some complications like uterine perforation and the expiration. But if those complications are alive, we healthcare providers we have to react, we have to act in order to prevent those uh, complications. Also, we have some contraindication of this method. Even everyone may need to use this method but there are some contraindications. The following are the contraindications of PPICD. The first one, if the mother had a ruptured membrane for 18 hours or longer, this one, remember that she is at a high risk of developing infection. This one, this client is not allowed to take the method, the PPIUCD. Also, even the client is having a postpartum hemorrhage. You know, during postpartum hemorrhage, we need to act quickly to help the mother to stop that bleeding. And remember that this method is inserted just in, within 10 minutes of after birth. Here, this one we did not need, we did not take, we did not Mm, take this method because of that hemorrhage, because that hemorrhage may lead to uh, device expiration. Also, if the client is having extensive genital trauma, here we don't give the method because we have also to repair those trauma in order to help the client first, and the device will come after. As all contraceptives method, we need counseling. And the PPIUCD counseling, when is it done? The PPIUCD counseling is done in antenatal care. You know, during antenatal care, we give education uh, to all contraceptives method. And the counseling is done in general, in groups, when the client are on antenatal care. And then we continue counseling individually to the pregnant mother. And also, you focus on the method. If the client chooses this method, you focus to the counseling regarding to this method. And then the counseling is done post after insertion. After insertion, the client will have, will have a, again another counseling regarding to the attitude regarding to this method. Means that PPI, UCD, Counseling normally is done in antenatal care. We have to focus and to educate our client to all of those kind of contraceptives method, especially PPIUCD. When the client chooses the method, now we are going to administer. Here we are going to pass it through the technique. I think that everyone will be able to insert PPIUCD. Any instrument will need carry or ring forceps. The image is there, and the, these forceps are found, those forceps are found in our health facilities. We need speculum, we need styloglobes, we need scissors, 
and we need the swabs for the disinfection. Also, we need a source of light because we need to visualize the, the cervix. This picture or this image is showing how the insertion is done. You see that the provider is supporting the uterus. We need to support the uterus. It is stabilize the uterus when you are reinserting the device. Also, you may need ring forceps, as we said, to insert the, the device. We are going to explore to see the technique from preparation up to the end. Let us pass through the technique. We are going to use Mamayu as our patient. We need to prepare ourselves to prepare the client and also materials. We need speculum, forceps, gloves, swabs, uh, scissors, and the source of right. You put on your gloves and you start inspect and examine the vaginal wall and the perineum to see if there is any laceration. With speculum, you visualize the posterior wall of the vagina and the cervix. With your ring forceps and the swabs, you clean the vulva. You clean also the cervix using any disinfectant. With your forceps, ring forceps, you maintain the anterior part of the cervix. You open your device to see if it is complete. And you insert your device. This is PPIUDC. You insert your it in the vagina, then the cervix, you remove the forceps ring, and then you maintain the fundus in order to stabilize the uterus, and then you insert upwards. Once the device reaches to the fundus, you move up the fridge, and you withdraw or you bring out the inserter slowly maintaining the mother's fundus. Once it is out, with your scissor, you cut the string there near the external os. Then you remove the speculum, you thank the client, and you give her advice regarding to this procedure or to this method. Also, when we are doing cesarean section, here we insert the device manually, meaning that the, the doctor the, will take the device manually and deposit or insert it in, it, in uterus manually without any or other instrument. As a summary, normally postpartum women, all of them, are highly at high risk of unattended pregnancy. The postpartum women also have a range of contraception options to use. They have many, many choices to use. But specifically, this PPIUCD can be provided before they leave the health facility. That is interesting. When the client comes to the hospital, to the health center, to the river, she will leave the health facility with the method. That's good. The PPIUCD also can be inserted quickly after delivery within 10 minutes or 48 hours after delivery. This postpartum period represents an important opportunity. It is an important time for women to be able to access contraception, especially this 
IUCD. Thank you very much.